Prince Theseus met King Minos' daughter, called Prince Ariadne, and she gave him a ball of string to Theseus. In fact, Prince Theseus wasn't sure if he loved Princess Ariadne. Although Princess Ariadne was a pretty girl, he still wasn't sure. Seconds later, confirmed Ariadne, the children were in the boat and Theseus had just sorted the Minotaur. A fisherman saw a boat out in the horizon heading towards Athens. On it were, ch were children and two adults. He was full of joy because his daughter had not been eaten by the notorious people. Late last night, the heroic prince, Prince Cepheus, killed the Minotaur using his trusty sword and saved 14 children using a ball of string. We have recently confirmed that the Minotaur has been killed and Theatus has made it out safely by holding onto a ball of string. It was very kind of Princess Ariadne to give me a, a sword and a ball of string to defeat the Minotaur with, quoted the heroic Prince Theatus. This event will be remembered as a life-changing experience and that hundreds of people have honoured him for what he did. Local parents exclaim that their child Bob has been taken to die in the hands of the Minotaur. I, I am convinced that every nine years, seven boys and seven girls are transported to Crete in the hands of King Minos. A fisherman reported how angry he was. I was furious. Why would he do such a thing? Theseus also spoke of how he fought vigorously and eventually slayed the Minotaur. It was a hard fought battle indeed and it clearly had some experience with its horns and surroundings. To seek revenge on the, on the Athenians, King Minos was a hybrid animal, half boy, half man, to live inside a labyrinth. Rumours have been circulating around Athens, Athens, Athens for years that the Minotaur not seen anyone who entered for the no prisoners. We have been reported that King Minos consequently ordered that he acquired a special maze, labyrinth, to be constructed in the island of Crete, especially for the notorious monstrous Minotaur. Every nine years, King Minos would send seven boys and seven girls for the rampaging monster to consume them. If you have any information about the children, please contact us at 0800-2213 or email us by newspapers you at gmail.com. Late last night, Prince Theseus killed the Minotaur, known as the Vicious Beast. After doing this, he saved 13 children from death by being eaten by this monster. What will he do next? Frantically, one of the children's fathers spoke about King Minos who was trying to lure children to be slaughtered as a deal. He created a bloodshot hybrid to seal and approve this de the deal. Seven boys and seven girls to men them every nine years. Am I clear? Bolted King Minos. To the king of Athenians. King Ag Aegeus had to agree or war would continue to reign his village. He nodded and declared the blood killing news to his loyal followers. Last night, Prince Theseus, the son of King Aegeus, killed the bloodthirsty Minotaur. It all took place yesterday night. He defeated the Minotaur with just a large sword and his ball of string. Early yesterday morning, King Aegeus claimed that his son, Prince Theseus, had killed the notorious Minotaur. The Parthenians has reported that his, the king stated to his people that his son has defeated the Minotaur with only one sword and a ball of string and rescued all, all the, um, 14 children in the pro process. It has been confirmed that the Minotaur lived in Crete town was created by King Minos to seek revenge on the people of Athens. So, so, subsequently, the people of Athens believe that the Minotaur has been cleverly created a deadly beast called the Minotaur. The beast was created to devour the children of Athens. This ferocious creature had a head of a bull but the body of a man. King Minos stated, I did it see, I did it so I could see the children suffer. King Minos sought revenge on the Athenians 
and in result of that, he decided to create a minotaur. Prince Theseus reported that the minotaur had a head like a bull and a body like a normal human, but three times the size. It was very bulky. Its horns were coloured red because of the innocent children's blood who were killed. It has been confirmed that King Minos hunted for revenge on Athens and eventually created a minotaur to live in the labyrinth. Speculation in and around Athens has been that the minotaur will kill anyone who entered. No one was spared. Later that night, Prince Theseus slayed the minotaur with only a sword and a boil of string. He sailed back to Athens and saved 13 children. Many people believe that Prince Theseus used the ribbon to guide his way through the labyrinth. Other people believe that he used the ribbon to tie the colossal minotaur after killing it. It is clear that Theseus found the menacing minotaur and sliced his head into his deadly foot. After, after, success, after successfully slaying the minotaur with the gifted sword, Prince Theseus then used the string to lead him out of the complex web of paths and tunnels. Prince Theseus slays the minotaur with only a ball of string and a sword, saving six boys and seven girls in the process. As a result, Minos ordered the home for the minotaur was to be a dark, vast labyrinth where only the minotaur knows where to go. It was, in, it was the centre where it died. Theseus stated, that it was the darkest place I've ever been in. Who would do such a thing? We now know that King Minos ordered men to build a labyrinth for the notorious Minotaur to live in. Our team said, when visited the site, it was a dark, gloomy and terrifying place. There were remains of children, flesh and blood all over the walls. Every nine years, seven boys and seven girls were sent to Crete in slavery of King Minos and then sent to the dreadful self-created Minotaur. Shortly before daybreak, a fishmonger confirmed that he saw children on the boat, which included his son. How is this legal? Without any warning, King Minos created a minotaur to live on the island of Crete. Many people believe that King Minos did it out of revenge to the Athen people. A spokesman stated that the, the beast lives in the labyrinth. Every nine years, King Minos sent seven boys and seven girls from Athens to Crete. The children father spoke of how upset he was. I was hysterical when my children had been ordered to go to Crete. Every nine years, King Minos sent seven boys and seven girls from, from Athens to Crete. The Minotaur who lived in the labyrinth, half <coughs> man, half bull, the children's father spoke of how upset he was. I was hysterical when my children had been ordered to go to Crete. It has been confirmed that the mantle has been killed and Prince Faces had sailed back to the Anthems with the with these young people um, with these young innocent people.